everybody so today's video is going to be how I went from getting ones and twos to fours and fives on my GCSE. Okay, so when you're watching this video it's going to be about January time and you've obviously got your mocks back if you're watching this as a GCSE student you've got your mocks back and you could be happy about them or you could not be happy about them. So if you're not happy that is the best situation to be in because I wasn't happy with my mocks I only passed one, one subject, and that was English language, and I got a five in it. So that was all right, but everything else was bad, and I think that's what pushed me to motivate myself more to revising and trying to get the grades, because I was like, if this is what I'm getting, no way am I going to be happy on results day. In my mocks, I got a one in maths. When we hit 2019, even though it's 2020 now, when we hit 2019, January the 1st, I was like, right, this year is going to be my year. And I was watching loads of videos like this, trying to find out how can I improve my grades. And all the videos I found was how to get A's, A stars. And I was like, I don't want to get that. I don't want to get that. I just want to get a passing grade and that's all I'm asking for please. <laughs> and some of the videos were quite helpful so I'm going to show you guys what I use to revise with to get fours and So maths, I'm going to start off with maths. I most helpful thing I used was Hegarty maths. Like full on, if you don't have Hegarty maths you might have my maths or something like that. Please use that, your teachers are giving it to you for a reason. I stayed up till one in the morning doing Hegarty maths just to pass it. I asked, you can ask your teacher to print off a list of all of the subjects that are on there and every day I'll go across it and just cross them out after I've learned them. So yeah, Hegarty maths helped me out so much in passing my grades. It just played a big role and I remember just thinking in my exam, oh my god I remember looking at that on Hegarty maths and, and applying it like that. Um, a second thing I use, little revision cards you can get basically, um, I'll put a link in my description of where you can get them. You can get higher or foundation ones, they were absolutely amazing. I used them literally seconds going into my exam and everything like that. I didn't have to make my own revision cards because they were already made for me. Um, they also on the back have a little scan code thing, I'll put pictures up of all of it little scan code thing that you can scan it in on your phone and it'll give you questions for it basically I didn't really use that that much but because I was using Hegarty maths I just needed something I could quickly look at and learn and what I used to do with the revision cards was if I knew it I would put it on one part if I didn't know I'd put it in the other pile and if and I'd just do that separate them and then I'd focus more on this pile but still referring back to that pile the best thing to do when revising for maths is keeping your notes neat but don't spend too much time doing them so have a little book or something like that like an A4 book and have all your revision in there don't mix it in with your exercise book and just go through it timing is great because your exam is in May June so it's far but it's quite close like it'll come quickly you'll be so shocked how quickly it comes Upping your maths grade won't happen overnight, I promise you. You've just got to keep working at it. And towards the end, I started seeing a progress. Like, through the whole thing, I was like, is this even working? I was Googling how to get a four from a two. Nothing was coming up. I was just stressing. Like, I was really stressing this time last year. Because maths was a main one for me. And when I opened my results and saw that I got a four, I burst out crying because I was just so happy that all this hard work has come out to this. Um, another thing you could do is use past papers. I used to get given past papers every week from my maths teacher, so I never had to print off any, but definitely use past papers. These are of any AQA websites and things like that. So please definitely use past papers, sit through them, get your teachers to mark them, you can mark them yourself using the exam board. Um, they're all online, you can find them anywhere, so, but thank you very much for watching, I hope this helps someone, that's all I'm here for, is just to help, if I can help one of you guys do your GCSEs or A-levels, that will be amazing, and that's all I want this to be, so, thank you for watching, bye!